Sneak OP! Back with some more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. When we last left off, we're freaking back. And Speedwagon's old now. And also an oil tycoon. Does that matter? Not really. Let's just all get on a plane and head over to this weird tree with a person in it. And also a bunch of horrible masks. And oh god, Strace is fucking evil now and he killed Speedwagon, you bastard! And he's got the goddamn mask too and he's getting all juiced up. No, I, I freaking trusted you. Which by the way, you guys remind me, this guy was the partner of Thundercross Split Attack Man. No, how dare he? He tarnishes his memory. And meanwhile, over in America, the grandson of Jonathan Joestar, Joseph Joestar, befriends a young black man by the name of Smokey by horribly mutilating this policeman's face and sticking his fingers right up through the nose. He's also a bit of a Sherlock Holmesy kind of guy because he can just sort of predict what dudes are going to do and say at any moment, even as he's telling them. And they just say it. Why do they do that? I think I tried to say not with the thing he said, but they just keep doing it. Oh yeah, and Arena's back, but she's gone from a sexy young girl to a sexy old grandma, who's also kind of a bit of a hard ass. But there's no time to worry about that because, oh God, Strixo's right there outside the building. He's all young again. Thank God Jojo brought a fucking Tommy gun. Eat shit, bitch. Ah! <laughs> Proceeds to shoot into the cafe, <laughs> absolutely mowing him down, somehow missing all the people in the building, including his best friend, who doesn't care that he's shooting in the cafe, is only to surprise where the hell he even was storing that gun, which I guess is a fair question, but I feel like the other one's still pretty important too. Yep, we're off to a crazy start so far, which is expected from uh, JoJo, I think. But I was happy to see you guys are uh, really amped about this. Apparently, uh, Battle Tendency is actually uh, a fan favorite of a lot of you guys, which uh, I'm surprised. I actually didn't know that. I always thought pe most people's favorite was the third one. And apparently this one also has like an absolute ridiculous amount of memes, which also surprised me because to be honest, I, I don't know if I know any memes from this one like I, I knew the the, the you know, hey it was me dio that was in the part one and i think i know a few memes from part three but i don't know if i know any of the ones from this one like i really know like very little about about this uh part in particular but maybe that's for the best it'll make for a more impactful moment i'm looking forward to finding the meme that uh speaks to me as much as thundercross split attack did last season but yeah thank you uh, guys for the support i'm glad you're excited about this and i appreciate all, all the likes in the last video so uh thank you this really do uh, honestly help me out a lot and also make me happy because then it shows me you guys are really uh really into it and excited to see more stuff just gets me amped. But apparently Joseph is like a fan favorite, like one of the, the best, I guess, uh, Joe stars to a lot of fans. And apparently he actually looked more like uh, Jonathan in the original manga, but they actually altered him a bit for uh, the anime here. Like apparently Jonathan's hair, I think was normally brown, but they changed it to blue for the anime and then kept J uh, Joseph's uh, brown for this one. I see. Okay. I actually thought all the, the Joe stars were going to have uh, blue hair. Just gets to show how little I fucking know about this series. Like, really, every everything I know about it is very much in passing. But someone who uh, went into details about the differences between both Joseph and Jonathan was Pluma D. Shinigami, who last episode said, Joseph is the heroic, if goofy, antithesis of Jonathan. Jonathan's reactive. Joseph is proactive. Jonathan's honorable. Joseph is Bugs Bunny. Jonathan is a gentleman, Joseph is a punk, and yet the two have the same drive of helping those who need a hand. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm actually, I, I like that the two are not just like carbon copies. Like we, this guy actually has a very different personality from Jonathan. Cause it was just like the same thing, like, but again, it would make you wonder like why they even bother to kill off uh, the previous one. It does kind of make me wonder if every one of these seasons though is gonna end with just like the Joe Stark dying like Jonathan did. Because I, I think, and again, I could be wrong about this, because I mean, I've been wrong about a lot of things in this already. So, you know, take with a grain of salt. But I think that every part has like a different Joe star. And I assume they're all going to end up being related, like actually like in a bloodline to uh, Jonathan. But Pluma, thank you so much for your uh, enlightening comment and differences between the uh, two uh, JoJo's that we know of so far. And if that reason, you are coming to the day. By the way, guys, did also say apparently a pretty popular meme with uh, from last uh, episode was the uh, and now your next line will be when Joseph was predicting whatever the guy's next move would be, which is very Sherlock Holmesy. And I think I did see some of you guys say that he was actually uh, inspired a bit by Sherlock Holmes, which I can definitely see that. I just thought it was funny because it was like 
He was still gonna beat his ass, but he felt like like also like messing up his brain in the process. All right, you guys also pointed out the reason why um, Joseph still has like an English accent is that he still was raised in England. The only reason that they were in the US is because they came, came to visit Speedwagon. I see, okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense. I, I kind of thought that seemingly at the end of the, the previous part, they were suggesting that like Arena floated on the, the coffin all the way back to America and then raised him there. But I, I got you, that makes sense. All right, so uh, we have been introduced to our new villain or potentially cur the current villain, uh, Strazo, who I am kind of bummed to see that he's just decided to become a bad guy, the piece of shit. But it does seem like we're still currently dealing with the Hamon and the crazy vampire powers from wearing the mask in this part. So seemingly no stands, at least not yet. But all right, so uh, Strazo got shot to shit. So what do we do now? I don't imagine he's actually dead because that definitely didn't work on Dio. But let's check it out with uh, episode two, guys. Let's get started. Ah, oh, yes, good. This is a good decision. Absolutely no repercussions at all for doing what I just did. None whatsoever. Straight so. Straight so. <laughs> Wipe my manly tears. He's going to kill us all. Huh? <laughs> are they, I can't tell. Are they screaming about straight so? Are they talking about me? I feel like they're talking about me. Well, I may have gotten a little carried away there, but you know, is that really necessary people? I saved you. Would you, would you lose your mind? Just look at what you've done. <laughs> look at Smokey actually call him out on it. Yeah, I know. It'll take a small fortune to fix everything in this place. Not that! <laughs> you just shot a person! Person? Oh, yes. I, I know that guy. Oh, it wasn't the fact that I almost hit you or everybody else here? Oh, okay, good. I, I thought you were going to give me shit about that, and I was going to be like, Woo wee! Be full of yourself, aren't you, Smokey? God! That thing I shot? I can only hope that he was a person. And if he was, I'll happily go to jail without thinking twice about it. <laughs> if he if he was a person, then I'm going to jail for a very long time. A very, very long time. So I really hope he was actually an anime vampire guy. Also, by the way, it was surprisingly easy to buy this gun. I mean, it's seriously, I barely had, even had to try. America, right? Woohoo! Yippee Kaye! Bang, bang! Can we please stop the crying? I'm trying to think here. <laughs> if you don't come down, I may have to make out with you. What the fuck? What? Sorry. I'm sorry. Say it again, Joe. What? If you don't calm down, I may have to make out with you. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Oh, God! Oh, no! He's hot! I'm very conflicted by this! So am I, ma'am. Joseph, please keep it in your pants. Stop being weird. Uh-oh, menacing, menacing sounds. Oopsie daisy, hello. Back from the dead. Oh shit, new intro. Oh my God, it's so colorful. My eyes, my eyes are bleeding. It's funny how the art style is actually super different in the intro. It's the same thing for the, the last one. I'm thinking it might be more like the actual manga or something. And they actually use like 3D animation too for it. What the fuck? I see a naked man, I believe. Cool. What the fuck is that? Uh, episode 11, Master of the Game. Menacing, 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 menacing. Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, you, you just, okay, you just scooped it out, just kind of slurped that shit. Damn, that shit peeled off way too easy, Stray, so. Oh, there we go, yeah, just flex it out. Dio's failure was in his infatuation with his own power. He stretched himself thin, allowing Jonathan to strike him. <laughs> but I have a different philosophy. I figure I'll have plenty of time to reflect on the extent of my powers after you're destroyed. <laughs> I've got a different idea. I'm just also gonna wait to think about how not to get myself beaten after I beat you. So hopefully I don't make the same mistake, but I'll just think about that later. I thought it would be appropriate to open up with the technique that Dio used to kill Jonathan. What do you mean they killed Jonathan? They didn't kill him with that. You mean kill him with the power of drowning on a ship? Titanic style? While embracing each other? <laughs> Oh shit, he used to ball his bullets. I can fire high pressure essence from my eyes. Look deeply into my Space Ripper stingy eyes. <laughs> his Space Ripper stinging eyes. That's a hell of a name, Strazo. <laughs> That's actually true, I think. Didn't Dio actually also have like weird eye lasers too? I just feel like Dio just kept making shit up about like what powers he had. He had like the power to freeze people and also like make his hair get like really long, pushing his weird split head back together. They're just, they're just making, making up a bunch of goofy stuff. 
Whoa, holy Shavari lasers! Ow, ow! Oh, that looked not good. That looks... Yes, uh... Ow! <laughs> I don't think he blocked that. Jojo! Oh, by the way, I guess to point out that apparently Smokey is actually ro voiced by Robbie uh, Damon, who is best known for a catchy, but also known for another game I played recently, Hi-Fi Rush's Chai. Hey, that's really cool. Yeah, I, uh, I really liked him as, uh, especially as Chai in Hi-Fi Rush. He's got a lot of range, man. I don't think I ever would have picked up that he was playing uh, Smokey here. Now, the only one left is Arena Joestar. And that should I be... I know what you'll say next. About as easy as taking candy from a baby. Oh shit, he said the thing! <gasps> next thing you'll say is... How could he possibly be alive with that hole in his head? <laughs> Seriously, how... I, I'm gonna say it. How could you possibly be alive with that hole in your head? Joseph? Are you okay? That doesn't look good. I think it might be infected. How could he possibly be alive with that hole in his head? So I just fucking said straight out. You wouldn't happen to have the time, would you? Oh my god, it's- wait. What? It's the clock? Backwards? A mirror! Look who finally noticed! Straight oaf! Wait, what? <laughs> First off, he called him straight oaf. Wait, what? Huh? Bye. Oh. <sighs> what the hell? Why was he- why was he breathing so much? I thought that was a vampire thing. Do that again, Joseph. Oh, Joseph had the fucking Mentos too. I'm confused. How did he? What? How did he get a hole in his head from the mirror? How? What? <laughs> Wouldn't the mirror have shattered or something? I'm very confused, but whatever. Batter up! Here comes the pinch. Oh That's fuck! Out of here. All right, so he put the hormone into the gun and smacked the shit out with it. Still menacing. Damn, nice fucking Matrix dodge there, Joseph. It's as though I never even touched him at all. Somehow you guys just keep whiffing each other. Here's a secret before you die. There is an insect deep in Southeast Asia called the Sataporosia beetle. Yeah. 30,000 of their tiny stomachs have been dried out and then woven into this scarf. Y yeah? Their bodies conduct hormone far better than a human body, thus dispersing the charge. It's similar to an electrical ground. I have inherited 4,000 years worth of history and research in the art of Harmon. 4,000 years of gross, dank bugs have been jammed into my scarf. <laughs> what? Okay, that's that's very scientific of you, Stray. So, wow. You must have a degree in some fucking bullshit. But did you think I'd completely rely on a gimmick like Harmon all of the time? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I'm also very fast. What? Oh shit! How did you pin that grenade on my scarf? <laughs> oh god, look. This is the thing that happened in the first part, too. That was so funny to me. Where everyone, like, just takes like 10 seconds to react to shit. Like, my god, there's a grenade on my scarf. I'm going to comment on it before I and not actually do anything to stop the grenade that's in my scarf. Also, holy shit, Joseph, you can fucking get it for this for this fight, didn't you? Child's play. Child's play! Ah! Take a look at the grenade you just knocked away. <laughs> Behold more grenades! <laughs> oh, when did he do that? I don't know, but it's fucking funny. Ah! Ah! Holy shit! Oh, there he goes! <laughs> what was that sound he made? Ah! Was those our fucking incendiary grenades or something? Well, that was a close one. Sorry about the cafe. Smokey's like, Nani the fuck. Smokey, I thought I told you to run. It's too late for that now. No, it isn't. You have plenty of time. We're sternly standing here talking about it. It's like he was talking about those grenades. If we just stopped talking and start acting, we'd probably all be a lot fucking happier right now. Yeah. All right, guys, giblets everywhere. Well, that's disturbing. Hey, look at his eyeball. Is that his foot? <laughs> it is part of his foot. What did that say? Blah, blah, blah. Some creepy ass music or something going on in the back. Gnarly. Damn, I'm hot. You probably kill monsters all the time. You know what to do, right, Jojo? That was the first for me. I have a secret weapon for situations such as this. Run. A secret weapon? Really? Look at his legs, Smokey. I basically blew them to smithereens, and they still haven't fully healed yet. Yeah? My legs are in great shape. Oh, damn, look at them quads. It's not kidding. Slap that shit again. Do it again. Ugh, yeah. One more time. Ugh. Okay, now a bunch of times. So what are you gonna do then? Run as fast as I can! <laughs> yes! Out of the way! 
I fucking knew it. Good thinking, Joseph. That's what I probably would have done too. Whoa, how the, what the fuck did he just, did he leap up with his ass first? Wee! <laughs> oh man, he's going all grudge. This is a perfect scoop. Wow, look at the size of that guy's dick. Let me take another one, another picture. Damn, this shit's going on the side of my fridge. This is my chance to break into big time journalism. <laughs> Karen Strassman. We just heard her as uh, Gwendolyn from uh, Odin Sphere and also Phi from Zero Escape. Pressure applied by fingertips, 235 kilograms per centimeter square. Who the fuck's talking right now? Uh-oh. It's behind me, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ass. Everyone was so calm. <laughs> Everyone just hanging out, having a good time, taking pictures, shooting the shit, getting killed. We should be safe by now. Right? No, we're uh, probably still gonna die. Oh, well, uh, you are. I'm main character, so I'll probably be fine. Oh. Look up! My God! Uh oh. <laughs> Why is he putting his fingers in her mouth? <laughs> Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> Run away, and I'll kill her right here. Okay, I don't know. I don't even know who that woman is, you moron. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> He's saying all this shit I'm saying. That I'm saying jokingly. Joseph, stop it. You're not supposed to actually say that. Fight me or run. Decide. Ah! Joe, Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh my ass off. He just fucking trims and rolls. <laughs> okay, nope, I'm done. Bye. I wouldn't fight for that floozy even if I was married to her. God damn. Wow. You don't have to say that, dude. You just turned around and left. It would've been a lot funnier. Now I just feel bad. Are you certain that this is the type of game you wish to play? I could put two more fingers in my mouth. Look at this. Okay, seriously, stop with the fingers in my mouth, seriously. Why is this your go-to for killing me? Ow. Ew, why, dude? Why? He just ripped it right out of her mouth. Yes, I, I saw that too. That was really gross. I don't need you to tell me it. Tell me about it, Smokey. You demonic freak. Oh, look at, look at his teeth all sparking and shit. Ah, uh, grinding that shit together. I'm gonna crack some of my own teeth just for fucking grinding them so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll pay for that! Oh! Wow, fucking rip that shit. What the hell? Look at his arm. Those things are his arms. Are those just like the sleeves left over? It turned to like weird cool cuffs now. Damn, what was that sound his legs made? Let's get the pretty speeches. Now you're mine. Woo! Oh, the couple lasers. Oh no! <laughs> the sound that he made. Oh no! <laughs> but unfortunately for you, straight, so you'll never be able to fool me twice. That laser's sure taking a while to get here. Ah! Shock left power. Right back at you, bitch. Oh, right through the brain. Now you'll say that's impossible. That's impossible. Yeah. Ugh. Ew, gross. Why does he have a boner? <sighs> oh, doing the breathing again. And hell! Oh! Actually, now that I think about it, I think the breathing has to do with hormone as well. I kind of forgot about that. I was thinking we learned it with Jonathan, too. He has to, like, suck in to do the... To, like, get oxygen or something to do the hormone energy stuff something give my best to speed wagon and hell also wait a minute you say his speed wagon went to hell fuck you joseph you know he went to heaven all right he's way too good to go to hell speed wagon's up in fucking heaven right now like really that's what you think of me joseph really god's up there staying next to him can you believe this guy <laughs> why though i want some answers straight so oh okay Good thinking, actually. Joseph, your grandfather Jonathan's blood flows through you. From the outside, you appear to be opposites, but you're both insatiably curious. <laughs> that was what I was saying, insatiably cute. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'm starting to think nobody noticed. It is my pleasure to warn you that your nature has trapped you in a fate you cannot hope to escape. Uh-oh. Soon you shall learn of him, of the Pillar Man, and then you shall finally come face to face with him. Pillar Man? Is that really his name? The Man of Pillars himself? Saving the world one pillar at a time. Pillar Man! But I threw the bodies into the river because of him. Don't you see, fool? Fool! The pillar sucked deeply of the blood from those bodies in the cave. Oh. It was like a plant ravenously drawing in nutrients. Ugh. It was ghastly. 
so I dragged the bodies outside. But I have no doubts now that he will soon awaken from his 2,000 year slumber. Well, whose dumb fault was that, Straito, you stupid asshole? That's what you get for murdering a bunch of dudes inside there and feeding the weird fucking stone tree with blood. You shall learn his identity and the true meaning of evolution. Okay, cool. Oh God, and now I'm exploding. There is nothing I regret, Joseph. All this time I planned on entering hell while still vibrant and filled with energy, not as some withered, desiccated corpse. Really, dude? You just, okay. You just want to go to hell an asshole, but hot. Fine. Straight so wait! Not yet! I need to know more! Stop exploding! Ah! Farewell to you, Jojo! To Jojo! Bye! I had a feeling this Tracer probably wasn't gonna be like the main baddie here. Not with weird giant hair man still around. Was it worth it, Strazo? Was it really worth it? Just to get young and horny again for a few hours? Was it really worth murdering Speedwagon? I don't think so! Ah! So fucking begging his chest like DK. 1938, the Second World War rages, threatening to engulf more nations around the globe with each passing day. Oh yeah, that thing. As the German army grows, it seeks to conquer the world with technology and weapons that stand at the very cutting edge of science. Oh shit, we got to run to anime Hitler here in a bit. However, they also research astrology, sorcery, alchemy, and psychic powers. Ah, goddamn Nazi scum. Fucking using their weird anime bullshit to rule the world. I fucking knew it. Uh oh. I'm I'm so terribly sorry, Major von Stroheim. <laughs> von Stroheim? Wow, nice weird looking six pack you got there, bro. Lick it. <laughs> Lick it? Ew, no. <laughs> oh yes, that's so hot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. What the fuck are these two doing over there? I knew this was a bad place to get an internship. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pardon my interruption, Major von Stroheim. Pardon von Stroheim. The old man found on the <gasps> plate of the Dada. He is now awake, Major von Stroheim. Shall we yes! He's alive! <laughs> oh my god, yes! They f he fucking lives! Wow! Not even getting your head literally cracked open and all of your blood pouring out is enough to keep Speedwagon down. Allow me to escort you home. Do you like my pose? I worked very hard on it. How much longer do I have to hold this for before you're impressed? <laughs> Ow! You've got some nerve calling me a floozy, you big brute! What? I never said that. No, you did. You said that you would never fight for a floozy like her. <laughs> oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Uh... I'm really sorry about that. It just happened, kinda. <laughs> oh man, she's fucking him up. Your mouth okay? <laughs> That was a hell of a scream, Karen Strassman. Now it's time to find out about this pillar man Straitzo was talking about. What about this pose? Do you like this pose instead? Where I'm like stiffing my hand? Whew, I need to wash these. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, stup stupid sauce flies. Buzzing around my head and bugging me with your stupid flapping. I spray you, take this. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Well, how about more of this, huh? Okay, seriously, why are you not dying? The stupid, shitty Nazi bug spray I got from the fleeking market. <laughs> yeah, don't breathe that shit in. How are you feeling? <laughs> Speedwagon. Speedwagon? I feel a lot better if I wasn't in a straitjacket. Menacing, menacing. I want answers now. <sighs> You guys bring this stupid idiot on board. What the fuck are you guys doing? Leave the weird giant hair demon man down in the Mayan ruins, okay? Just, just leave him alone. Why couldn't you just have let me die back there? Because I love you, Speedwag. Fuck you, Nico. Just have let me die. Come on. I don't even know you, bro. But dude, you're like my favorite character. Shut up and let me fucking die. The Wehrmacht would like some information from you before anything drastic happens. Uh-oh. I'm smart enough to know that torture alone would not give us what we want out of you. No, it would actually. It would totally work. It would absolutely work. You don't even have to do anything. Just the threat of it. I'll tell you whatever you want, all right? I don't have my cool spinny hat anymore. Please don't torture me! Get ready! German medicine is the greatest thing in the world, don't you think? German medicine? Yes. We can do anything! Torchland! Tell us so that we can finally awaken the Pillar Man! Why? You want to awaken him? Why? You think he's going to be the fucking German nuke or something? Go 
Come on, man. You know he's just gonna wake up and be mega pissed and probably kill you guys too. You don't know the forces you're playing with. He's powerful enough to destroy us all. Is he fucking gargling? <laughs> Make the necessary preparations for the blood feeding experiment. And don't screw anything up. And don't screw anything up. I swear to God. If you do, I'll grab you by your neighbor host and shake you so hard. Once you have all agreed on who will be the one to sacrifice his life, V will grant the rest of you your freedom immediately. This is... This is really fucked up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is... This is really fucked up. If I do your experiment, you promise that you let everyone else go, right? Is that Derek Stephen Prince? I swear to God, that's Derek Stephen Prince with an accent. Here, we allow only the most fit to live. No, 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 don't do that hand mannerism, all right? You're about to get canceled. Stop it. Stop it. Set the boy aside and execute everyone else. And now we're out here. Woo! Suddenly Mad Max. Who the fuck? Is that Eyebrow Man? No, I think it's somebody else. <laughs> I like you just hear it's like he's like slurping it up through like a little like little bendy straw or something. You just hear it sucking up and I Yummy. Mm. Oh, there. I was like, I was like, it's just to be continued before I got the. Da, da, da. Slightly delayed response there. Those goddamn Nazi bastards playing with powers they don't understand. Well, at the very least, I'm glad Speedwagon's alive. That was a, that was a surprise, a pleasant one. If he is being, you know, tortured. Well, all right, guys. <laughs> that was a fun one. It shows that uh, right off the bat, Joseph is clearly just as capable as Jonathan was. So seemingly he's not going to need to go through like some giant mega training arc to learn how to use the moan. He's already pretty uh, experienced in using it. I will say, I can't help his, uh, his little pal Smokey ends up also learning how to use a moan or getting some crazy power of his own just so he can like fight alongside Joseph. Because I like Smokey. He seemed cool. You know, assuming he's still in the story. I hope, I hope that wasn't like the last we see of him. We did only see Joseph going to the down to Mexico there. But I'm assuming the guy in the tree is like, is gonna end up being like the creator of the masks or something, right? And like the one to, to set all this bullshit into motion. But he was like sealed away in a tree because he, I guess they just couldn't kill him or something. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But hopefully uh, Joseph can save Speedwagon before he dies again to those goddamn Nazi bastards. At least I hope so. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. It's good, it's off to a good start. I'm glad Stracer didn't end up being like, just like the main baddie. He seemed too much of like a basic bitch, honestly. Like a freaking scrub, you know? To really end up being the, the main dude. I will say, I did see a, a blonde guy in the intro, right? Which does seem like it could very well be Dio again. Though it seemed like he was actually fighting alongside Joseph this time, which is interesting. So maybe Dio will somehow come back. I don't know how exactly he would. And be a good guy this time? That'd be kind of a neat, neat, neat little twist. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.